Hey everybody, welcome back to Evil Dead the game. We're jumping into the Survivor gameplay in just a moment, but... Y'all see the patch? Oh, Y'all saw it, right? Y'all saw it. If you clicked on this video, you're probably playing the game yourself. You saw it. Um... You know, a lot of interesting stuff in that. Off topic, uh, let's rewind a couple weeks ago. When I released the most controversial video I've ever made. Giving my opinions about this game and what I thought needed to be changed. And if you if you saw that one, a lot of people saw it. A lot of people hated it. They gave my opinion. And it turns out, I gave good opinions. If you remember, I brought up how the biggest thing in this game is a uh, hunter's stamina and they can just dodge him forever. Seemingly. Especially Kelly. And I also have been saying in, in a lot of this that the balance bars are, 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 are crap, actually. Like, they're too weak, because every survivor gets a gets a thing, gets a skill that increases balance bar damage. Would you look at that on the patch notes? The big thing was hunters getting nerfed, their stamina specifically, and uh, balance bars being buffed. Huh. It's almost like a lot of people were saying the same opinions I had. Weird. Outside of being snarky and, and having an ah, I told you so moment. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the patch. Everyone and their grandmother has made a video about it. Uh, I would recommend Swing Point's video. He made a great video discussing it and and probably why it happened. Um, TLDR, it's probably trying to get the demon players back because a lot of them had the same experience I had where you play a couple games and go, well, this is stupid. It's hard to learn. It's an incredible learning curve. It's not even a curve. It's a 90 degree wall that you have to bash your face into for hours on end before making any progress. I'm just going to go play Survivor. That's what I did. Oh, that's what a lot of people did. So more likely Saber Interactive is trying to get people to play Demon. On a side note, I've been thinking for the past week or so that uh, I wanted to maybe get back into learning Demon. Actually, like, put in the time and effort and actually play the demon well now seems like a good as time as any doesn't it that they've uh, buffed demons incredibly uh, so right now if you're listening to my voice I'm a little congested so I may sound a bit different uh, who should I start with like what what demon is the best to learn with right I've seen a lot of people say warlord is the, the warlord is the best one and I think I'm gonna maybe lean towards Henrietta uh, I really like Puppeteer playstyle, but uh, we'll get to that. Uh, and Necromancer is just Necromancer; he's bugged to hell. Um, but yeah, I th I think Swing Point's pretty on point with that whole like they're trying to get demon players back uh, because this patch did not do what it needed to do, and that was buff elite uh, units and bosses for the demons. For some reason, they buffed possessions basic unit possessions are now going to be the thing and that's that's not great that's a that's bad that's very bad for this game's lifespan um it's very bad very very bad uh could have not done that instead buffed elite and elite units and bosses that would be great uh also could have buffed supports uh that would have been fantastic outside of that most of the changes are are, are needed Hunters are incredibly insane. Like, their damage didn't get touched, which is fine. Their glass cannons leave their power alone. The fact that they can infinite dodge uh, not being a thing anymore, pretty good. That's a pretty good thing. Um, they buffed Leader Ash, his El Jefe aura now is 15 instead of 10% increase to damage. That's great. They buffed uh, Annie's aura to 25%. On range damage because range weapons aren't incredibly busted um, but a lot of the changes are, are band-aid fixes for characters that are glitched like just Kelly and Arthur and uh, Cheryl they're glitched they're glitched out so I think those are just band-aid fixes and I say that because it is a uh, it's a balance pass not a patch you know I didn't have to download a god dang thing for this game Nothing. Nobody had to do that. This is a... This is a server-side thing they did. 
And there's a, probably a very good reason for that. Um, I, th I don't know if they still do it. I'm assuming they still do it. But Microsoft at one point uh, had limits on patches games could put out. Just so you didn't get like a game releasing 15 patches within like three weeks, four weeks. So something. Is Whatever's out there, we'll fight it together. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go Henry. I like Henry. No, well, I, hey, dude, pick it. Like I, I'll play busted ass Kelly. Housewares. What are we doing like here? Someone just walked over my grave. Um. Yeah, I'll play Kelly. You need something dead? You've come to the right badass. Um, yeah, Microsoft didn't allow, like, certain number of patches to go through. I think, because they already released a patch in June, Microsoft probably went, mm, can't do that, homie. We're not going to check another patch for you until, like, July. You get one a month. Server side, they can just do that shit whenever they want, because that's their stuff. They can just change a number. So I think when they're able to fully do a patch again, maybe mid-July, maybe, they get a big balance patch. They fix a lot of bugs, a lot of six. issues. There's a fire in my I face. I know now what I have unleashed unto um, myself, and that I will die for my transgression. But they. If you're hearing this, the future is man, in your hands. Man, it's it's hard to talk over Follow you, Nobi. Instructions to the letter. Annie, you want to tell your dad to shut up? Damn. Um. Search nearby for pieces of my map. It contains the location of the items required to bend. Uh, I guess I'll take it. But you could have pinged that, by the way. Uh, long gun ammo. Let's see what we can find. The first that was of the map has fast. Been Continue and find the next. Damn, I will take the double barrel all day, every day. Uh, but I'm. I'll, I. I would. I would. I would. I would hearken a guess that we'll get a big balance patch, a big patch. Uh, July next month, and, and that'll include a bunch of bug fixes, and because it'll probably fix Kelly, and uh, oh, we got a legendary loot case, damn dude. Um, like it, it'll fix Kelly, it'll fix Arthur, it'll fix Cheryl, all these bugged characters. They can revert those changes, or at least most of them. And everything will be fine. The other thing is, uh, I, I think, what the hell? How do you get this fucking treasure chest? Oh, I'm a dingus. Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer, yes. Sledgehammer, yes. Um, all in range. That we're, we're range type, we're all in range. Uh, I think if they just release the one change, one big part of that, I don't think anybody would really have really had a problem, right? If they were just like, "Hey, we're we're nerfing survivors," people went, "Okay, cool." Balance, yes, good, yes. Or if they just went, you know, we're we're gonna. There's demons in here. A boomstick. Uh, I'd rather. Hello, there's de there's there's demons here. I just, I'm glad that everybody nope the fuck out. Uh, but if they just release like, uh, you know, the... the... I was gonna say... Shotgun? No. Double barrel's fine. Uh, spear? Yeah, we're fine with this. If they just release like the demon's buff, people be like, okay, yeah, balance. Them releasing it... all together? Um... Probably not the greatest. That's why I think people are gonna get pissed about, right? That's what people are getting pissed about. Like massive survivor nerfs and massive demon buffs. It's it's kind of a it's kind of a lot to take in. It's a lot to just process. So I think if they just did one and not both, I think nobody would have had a problem. So, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know, that's just, that's just my take. That's my opinion on it. But I don't know. 
this patch, I, I agree with everybody saying that this patch does. Your team now uh, another piece of the map. Keep it close and continue. Oh, I didn't feel so good, Mr. Stark. Damn. Uh, this patch does hurt solo queue. I've been playing a little bit. And it's just like, if you're not coordinated, you're not going to have the greatest time. I hear, I hear evil. Unless that's, there's evil. I, I knew I heard it. I knew I heard it. Um, oh, he's being buffed by something. Whoa, okay. I hear him. I don't know where he is though. He's dead now. Never mind. There's his head. <laughs> cool. Uh. Okay, we should probably be shoulder to shoulder with Annie. She gives us a massive buff. Sword, no, we don't want sword. I'm sorry. Oh God, what the fuck, guys? I uh, yeah, um, yeah, okay. Hey, we found the dark ones. So um. I'm gonna. It's like a who's who of evil forces. Just mark spot. that for later, right? We'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I don't know. It really does fuck over solo queue because if you're not sticking together, like we're we're doing very good here, right? We're sticking together. We're, we're not having a very hard time. But I've had matches where it's just like. There goes one person. Well, I guess we'll die. That's really all it takes is one person just not. The heroic survivors have gathered the final piece of the Ow, what the hell? Make haste to the lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian Dagger. And again, like The balance bar here isn't too bad, right? Look, we're just fucking tearing through it. If we were uh I don't even know where the fuck you could put it. Oh. Ready to kick it up a notch. My reload. Loading. Like, Loading. see. People are like, oh, they buffed possessions. It's not too terrible. I got possessed. Pump that. We'll pump stamina next. There it is. I'll oh, pump that. Hey. Yeah, don't just kick me. Actually, shoot me. Um, yeah, good on you for like shooting me, or not shooting me, obsessing me, but you didn't do it good. You wasted a couple bullets. Like if I was a, if I was a, a, a warrior, we would absolutely be just destroying balance bars. I'm a level two Kelly. Ain't got that. I ain't got the broken shit. Right? Why are we taking a swim into the cold lake? Like, what? What is? I don't know what's happening here. I'm just gonna follow these people. I'm gonna follow these people. Fine. Um, damn, it is snowy. Good lord. Okay. Yeah, it's it's smart to take this one because that one is closer to the thing. Ow, you fart. How dare you? don't laugh at me. Um Oh, did he break? Oh, right in the non existing grundle. Well it's existent, it's just not there, you know? What? My boot didn't. Hello? Fine, I got him. It's cool. Well, well. Who? It's the Annie. Okay, what the fuck? Headshot. Get. 
Get her up. There we go. Uh, I got it. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Elite goes down in one shot. That's uh, that should be how that works. Man, if I can hit my shot on this, this zombie, this demon. Okay. Uh, oh my god, are you fucking kidding me, mate? Oh, I'm possessed again. Cool. Yay. Um, guys. Summon your courage and stay close. Hey guys, shoot me. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah, just keep shooting me. Just shoot me. There it is. Uh, heal. He hi, hello. There we go. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Shit, 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 fard. Okay. Like, this guy's like, look at this. Wow, okay, cool. The skeleton knocked me out of my animation. Okay, fine. I, sure, man. Damn, dude, really? Yeah, I'm gonna execute you. Just to get. Uh, oh, God. What? Okay, how did so many get rezzed here? I'm out of, uh, everything. Cool, I'm go- Where- Again! Don't you look- I'm stuck in a corner- Where's our other Ash? Where's our guy that- Oh, by the way, has an- Exorcist spell that can actually stop this shit from happening. That they wrongly nerfed, by the way. I don't agree with that. There's a lot in this patch, so I'm just like, why? Like, you buffed possessions. I died because of buffed basic unit. You buffed that. Fuck, why did you do that? I don't understand why they... I do understand why. It's because they want... Uh, you, uh, demon players to play because you hemorrhaged them all. Oh, he's capping the page instead of doing what he should have been doing and staying on the dagger with us. Fucking why? This is how you lose in the current meta as a solo queue player. You don't stick with your team. Because of our, our, uh, Warrior Ash, uh, we just lost. If he was here, he exercises the basic unit possession, and we clean up the mess, and then we do it. Nope. Nope. And now I'm stuck here watching, uh, this guy. I'll name him Steve. Oh no, he's been possessed. Whatever could he do? What could have been done to save this game for us? Like, I'm, I've been tweeting about it constantly. This game needs a, a, hey, stupid fuck. This is a team-based game. Group up. Uh, emote. Emote, ping, whatever you want to add to the game to make that so Saber Interactive. Let it be, because this guy is the reason we lost this game. And Saber, that's on you, because possessed units are a problem. One thing I would recommend you could do is, I don't know, buff the unit, elite units and Failure to seal the, the boss monsters. You could do that. The world of men will cease to exist. But you fucking didn't. I don't know why. I, I, don't, I don't know why. Now I get I, another problem with this game. I get piss poor experience. So I can't even get Kelly leveled up to level four. I get one, one singular fucking experience point. That sucks. There is nothing in this patch. Again, hopefully they release a full-blown 15, 20, pull a Call of Duty and give us a, a full-blown like 50 gig update that fixes Kelly's bugs, Cheryl's bugs, 
Arthur's bugs uh, makes the grind a lot less grindy, that would be fantastic. Instead of like give like I don't know you you gave into the basic possession meta when people didn't want that. The one big thing that you could have on a team is a hash with exorcist. Well, you buff the infernal energy reduction that elite and boss units take by 5%. But hey, guess what? If you're using exorcist on elite and boss units, you're doing it wrong. Save that shit for when a actual thing that can be possessed. It can actually be exercised like a teammate or a basic unit. Uh, because again, elite and boss units suck. We melted that evil ash. Three of us. Three of us did it. I had a basic bare bones, common rarity double barrel, like a like Ash is holding here, and I we melted th melted through it, man. Uh, what? Uh, but you you increased the cooldown from sixty seconds to ninety seconds. Why? That's the one big tool against the possession meta. And you took it away. What? Why? That's one of the ones where I'm like, that's terrible. Why would you do that? Another one is you increase the time it takes to revive a person from three seconds to four seconds. Yes, that was my big issue. That was a very big issue that I had. Not a very big one, but an issue I had in that cringe video, which is what it's being lovingly referred to now as. Um. But I said, like, you know, they get survivors get instant revive, infinite revives. I was more so talking about the altars. I was more so talking like, okay, if they go into bleed out and they die, you could pick them up and just keep taking them to altars and infinitely respawning them. Yeah, that's not a problem. I wasn't talking about picking people up when they're bleeding out. Yeah, it puts more pressure on you to not go down. But when you can just summon basic units out the asshole, uh, bruh, and possess one of them and, like, knock somebody down and then just stand guard and watch the body die while the other people are fighting minions. It's kind of bullshit. Literally, the go-to pick now is Henry. In my opinion, Henry is now the best survivor because he gets unstoppable. Once you activate it, you don't take damage to health or shields, and you cannot be staggered. Like, bar none the best character in this game now. Because if somebody goes down, well, pop on Stopple, I'll pick you up, friend. It lasts for seven seconds. You activate it, walk over to your friend, you still have time to pick up your friend, even with four seconds res. There's, there's a couple questionable things. I'm not saying it's a great patch all around. Obviously, there's very questionable things. There's, you know, you got Lord Arthur's thing, Kelly's thing, and Cheryl's thing. Those are band-aids that will be removed, and then surgery will be performed to follow that tortured metaphor. But when, I think once we do get a full-blown patch, like I said, drop a 100 gig update on this bitch. Fix all the bugs. Fix all of them. Not just one or two. You fixed Amanda's with the pistols, whatever that was. Cool. Fix all of the bugs at one shot, or at least a lot of them. That's what people want. But those three, but those three nerfs. Sorry. Uh, those will probably be reverted once they can get in and release an actual patch that fixes the bugs with those characters. I don't have a real concern with that. My concern is, again, you, you just made the demons really powerful with possession meta you nerfed solo Q because of that you nerfed hunter ash okay he's the best he was the best character but exorcist got hit people were saying like okay once he does need a tune down he does need a, a nerf but they weren't taking into consideration you would actually buff possessions what okay cool Again, like I said before, if you did one or the other, people wouldn't be pissed. 
if we still had 60 second Exor exorcist but the possession buff for demons then be fine nobody be complaining but you did both for some reason and I know you're going off the data that's fine do that shit but think a little bit please I don't want to compare you to Almo from behavior who just looks at the data and nothing else warrior ash needed a nerf good nerfs good on you uh hunter ash being nerfed in this now super possess heavy meta that ain't it cheap you also gave no love to any of the other supports so now nobody wants to play support it's it's mind-boggling what this patch was like you buffed el jefe you buffed howitzer you nerfed warrior ash those are all great you nerfed hunter ash you didn't buff any of the other sports to make up for cheryl now being bad what oh i i guess you you buffed big head ed's check my notes here collector ability cool um you nerfed last chance which very good you needed that you nerfed deadly up close very good you needed that I don't know I don't know the game is in a very weird place right now um Saber Interactive knows they hemorrhaged demon players the player base knows they hemorrhaged demon players so they're trying to get them back and like I said I was thinking about coming back picking up demon playing off screen on screen uh, this kind of cemented that decision of yeah no I'll be back I'll be back I'll probably be sticking with warlord but if you guys have any other like insider knowledge like no puppeteer is easier to learn with necromancer is easier, easier to learn with uh, I'll probably be sticking with uh, hot girl Henrietta so I guess that is that but uh, the half of the reddit is on fire that's fun to watch that's really fun to watch a lot of survivor main screaming this game is dead dead game dead game a pro tip from someone who is actually a pro at those communities don't listen to them don't listen to the doomsday people okay I have been in many a games I've been gaming since I was five years old with Super Mario and probably younger than that actually I've been doing this shit for over two and a half decades. Uh, and for about, I think, 15 of those, I've been in multiplayer games. Like, a lot. So, I've been through a lot of periods where devs think they're doing the right thing, have the best of intentions, but the community hates it and they shout, DEAD GAME! dead game uh don't listen to those people they're idiots straight up don't listen to them if you're having fun with the game play the game if you're not having fun to, with the game then just don't play it go play something else it's it is that simple right like if you if you're looking at the new call of duty modern warfare 2 2022 edition and you're going like ah that looks fun play it I'm not going to play it because I have no interest in it. Unless that shit hits Game Pass, then I'll check it out. But uh, probably not. Probably not going to do that. Bobby Kotick wants the money. Um, but I'm not really interested in that, right? I played Modern, for Modern Warfare 2019. Didn't like it at all. It's going to be the same system, so I have no interest. If you have interest, go right ahead. I'm not going to stop you. I can't stop you. Physically, mentally, I can't stop you. Go enjoy it. If you enjoy that, do it. Like... If you enjoy a game, do it. If you don't enjoy a game, then don't. I took six months off of Dead by Daylight, nearly killing this channel, which I love you all for supporting it once it came back a few weeks ago. So I love you all. Thank you so much for coming back, joining for the first time. Thank you all. I truly mean that. Uh, but I took six months off of Dead by Daylight because I wasn't having fun with it. Plain and simple. I just wasn't having fun with it. There are bugs. The devs were going through some tumultuous shit, and I just said, you know, deuces, I'll see you later. And later was six months later? To be fair, I was only going to take like a couple weeks off. That turned into several months off. 
Um, but for the people who say that, oh, dead game, dead game, once they don't get their way, I guarantee you, if we get a big balance patch come July, mid-July, and some of the survivor stuff is reverted because they fixed a lot of things, and some of the demon stuff is reverted, demon mains are going to be screaming, oh, dead game, they killed the game, dead game. They're, that, both sides say it, they're both idiots. I'm not picking a side here, they're both idiots. Like, people were shouting Dead by Daylight's a dead game every single fucking chapter release. And I'm gonna tell you, if them behavior in this instance, teaming with NFT scumbag scammers to release pinhead NFTs in honor of the Hellraiser chapter, if that didn't kill Dead by Daylight, bitch, nothing will. Okay? Nothing's gonna kill that game. And it's because people are playing that game constantly. They'll lose hundreds, or tens of thousands of players, but people are still playing it. If people are still playing it, and you can still find matches, no matter how long they take, then it's not a dead game. Same thing with this. If you're enjoying the game, play the game. If you're not, then don't. Simple. I, I, yeah, that's a mini rant. That's a tangent, but those doomsday people piss me off so much. Like, to no end. Because you don't know what you're talking about. Just because you didn't get what you want, you got a little sand in your butthole, doesn't mean the game is dying. It's, it's, I, I'm reading Reddit on fire currently. And it's hilarious to me that like half of them are like, oh, fuck, what the hell? I'm never playing this game again. And then the other side's going, man, this is the greatest day ever. Hold, praise Jeebus. Praise the Necronomicon. It's hilarious, man. It is hilarious. So funny. Man. But those people piss me off. Those people piss me off. To no end. Because you're, you're actively... Turning people away from the game. Your you're, people are going to see like, Oh, it's a dead game. Well, why would I pick that up? That's not the truth, though. People are still playing this game. I got a game at 11 o'clock at night. I got a, I, I found a match at 11 o'clock at night within what? 45 seconds? If I was trying to do that with Dead by Daylight, I'd still be waiting a half hour later to find a survivor game. Yeah. So it, ignore those people. Play what you want. Don't listen to the stupid people, okay? That's just good life advice at that point. But I do agree that there are some things that were f that were fumbled massively. Again, like I said, Sash and Pablo not getting any love to make up for uh, Cheryl's minor tweak. I've played about four games as Survivor since they released the patch. Nobody wants to play support. Nobody wants to play support. Now it's just leader warrior hunters. Whereas before it was warrior hunters support. And I think Swingpoint pointed out they buffed two of the leaders because they want to encourage sticking together as a team. If you're playing as a four man and you're sticking together, you're going to win every time. You're going to win every time. Those demon changes don't mean a damn thing. But if one member strays and you get a basic possessed unit on you, especially at the, the dagger, the pages stage, you're kind of fucked. Stick with your team for fuck's sake. Don't be an idiot, especially if you're Hash, who has an ability to stop possession. Don't be a dingus, okay? That, why is Big Head on my screen? That will be all for today. Uh, like I said, if you got any insider tips for learning Demon, which Demon is best for learning it, let me know. Uh, I'm going to start playing Demon again. I'm going to probably go with Warlord. Because that's what everybody keeps saying is the best class to start out with and learn. Uh, whether that's the next video or not, uh, I don't know. I might just jump into it with a new video and then be like, yeah, we're going to start learning from today on or whatever. But until then, if you enjoyed this episode, if you enjoyed this patch... Let me know down below. If you hated this patch, let me know. One thing I will end on, in terms of the basic unit meta, possession meta, 
Uh, a good way to fix that is to improve the AI of the units, right? Obviously, buff elite units, buff bosses, make bosses feel like actual raid bosses that you have to cooperate with. Uh, that'll still fuck over a solo queue very hard, but at least if everybody knows that, oh fuck, you gotta do use teamwork to take out the boss, maybe dipshit's not gonna go off, try to capture something by himself. Uh, again, I think that's the fault of people going, lone wolf characters are dope. They're not, they hurt the team, stop it, don't be an idiot. Um, but a good way to fix this problem of basic unit possession is uh, basic unit AI being improved. I don't know if that's something they can do easily or at all, but um, you saw it in that match. I, there's several times in these videos in the past where basic unit attacks, goes, ha 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 taunt, and that's the end of their animation. Possessed units can attack, 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 attack without really stopping. The AI is dumb. If you fine tune that, people aren't going to feel the need to actually possess units. I saw some people say maybe there should be a cooldown on possession. Yes. Because the only other option is increase the infernal energy cost. And that's not great. That is not great. Adding to more resource management is not the answer. So adding a little cooldown, maybe a 30 second cooldown so you can't just spam that shit. Just on possessions in general. Because I've played against people who summon basic portal, possess, that unit dies. Summon another portal, possess basic unit, dies. Possess teammate. It's like, you shouldn't be able to do that back to back to back to back to back to back. That's terrible. Uh, and like I said before, basic unit possession meta is not healthy for the game. It needs to be looked at. Okay, now we're done. Now we're done. But thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed what you watched, do the YouTube things. And until next time, maybe a demon video. Stay groovy.